Hey everybody, I thought I would delve into another box of cheap wax from the 80s and 90s. This is 1991 Leaf Studio. And I don't know a whole lot about this particular set. Um, the box cost me $5 at my local card store, so I figured I could at least get 5 bucks of entertainment out of it by opening the packs. So if we look at this studio. 48 count so 48 packs in there I don't know how many cards are in each pack it does feature a rod Carew puzzle um, look at the side of the box here and over here and then over here there's a proof of purchase I'm not sure why you would need a proof of purchase but I guess at some point they were doing that and like I said 91 leaf studio featuring the rod Carew puzzle so let's take a glimpse and see what we get in here. Like I said, I don't know anything about this set. Let's get this plastic off of it. I don't know if the plastic came from the dealer that I got it from or whether it was shipped that way or what the story was, but we will get this all figured out and opened up and see what we got. Like I said, there is, I don't believe there's anything of any kind of monetary value in here. This is all for uh, nostalgia reminiscing and the fun of opening packs much like popping bubble wrap I kind of those things are kind of synonymous to me I think all right let's open this box up and see how the packs look they're in this black and gold style thing here let's do the old uh, if I can get it right the old uh, way that they were in the card store I guess would have been how they would have set it up like this. I'm assuming that's how they would have done it. <clears throat> so let's look at the packs. It says here you get three puzzle pieces and ten, ten cards per pack. 48 packs. There you go. Even my public school math will tell me that's 480 particular cards. And also with three puzzle pieces and 48 packs you're looking at quite a few chances to make several Rod Carew puzzles I imagine. Alright here we go. Leaf. Let's just say under here. Doo -doo. Oh, here we go. Something over here. This unique limited edition set features striking black and white photographs that capture the character and intensity of 260 of today's top stars and rookies. With profiles that rise above mere statistics to give you insights into the personal side of baseball's most colorful players. Okay, so these all are all black and white photos from what I gather. And it kind of throws you back to maybe your high school yearbook days maybe we'll see like i said don't know anything about it it was five bucks so i figured even if it's a total bust it's still five dollars worth of entertainment as i'm still getting my feet wet into the card uh, wax box or whatever you call that box openings of baseball cards now my big chore is to figure out the best way to, i guess just rip into it there is no gentle way to do that cards have red borders on them uh, here's one of Julio Franco of Texas. You got your Studio 91 up here, the logo here, their name. Let's take a look at the backs of the cards. It says Studio Julio Franco. And it's got his personal data. Uh, he was born August 20. Let me let's see, I'm gonna get my glasses on so I can read this. If I can read it at all, it's kind of blurry to me. I don't know how it's showing on camera, but it's blurry to me. Anyway, my eyes are not very good, so I'm not going to try to read all that. Um, his hero was Roberto Clemente. I could read that part. All right, so the first card there is Julio Franco. Jeff Conan, the Barbarian of Kansas City. Leo Gomez of the Orioles. Candy Maldonado of This is the Brewers. Oh, now we're upside down. Let's flip them around. Lance Dixon of the Cubbies. The Doctor, Dwight Gooden of the Mets. Will Clark, Will the Thrill. So some of these are in uniforms. I thought everybody, I thought the way they were doing these, all, none of these guys would be in uniform. It would be all more of a, uh, you know, street clothes kind of thing. But it's just, the, I guess, the style, the way the picture's taken makes you think of going to a professional studio. All right, there's Dennis Eckersley and all his hair. Travis Fryman. And Ricky, Ricky Henderson. So some decent cards there. And there's one of the puzzle pieces. Um, 
obviously for Rod Carew. And they're numbered on here so you can, you can know how they go together. And there's what the card, what the puzzle is supposed to look like when it's all completed. So that is pack number one. Like I said, it's not uh, nothing there that's going to be high dollar value. And i got to figure out which end is the best one to rip from. As I'm not used to ripping this type of cards. This kind of used to doing the wax packs. It's got to be a, a little slit here somewhere that you would think would be the easiest way to do it. Without tearing into things. I know my finger. I know I'm <laughs> not the strongest guy in the world, but I'm not that weak either. So there we go. Okay. Had to figure out which way to, to attack it. All right. There's the puzzle piece again. Right there. So let's see who comes in this pack. We get Milk Kyler of the Tigers. Jose Canseco. There he is, Mr. Royd himself. Jim Abbott, who was born with the defect of the one arm, so or one hand rather, had both arms, just didn't have a, a hand, a right hand. But he was a great left-handed pitcher. Well, I say great, he was very good. Threw a no-hitter. Candy Maldonado again. Now there aren't that many cards made. I think it said 260 players, so you're going to get a lot of duplicates for sure. Vince Coleman, Mike Benjamin of the Giants, Craig Biggio, Hall of Famer of the Strohs, Bobby Bonilla. Him and he's smiling because every year he gets a million bucks from the Mets. Chris Hoyles of the Orioles, and we're back to the beginning. Okay, so. Um, not sure what you think of these cards. I mean, they look kind of, I mean, they're different. That's for sure. It's a different kind of card. Um, probably would not have been my favorite to collect back in the day, but hey, for, like I said, for five bucks, I am not going to, uh, make any complaints. So I think I need to tear these packs at the seam. I think maybe that's the best way to do it. Another puzzle piece, and I'm just going to put those puzzle pieces together and and save the numbers and put them all together so I can make my little flat puzzle. Here's Scott Sanderson, Mo Vaughn, Kurt Stillwell Angel, Dave Death Valley, Dave Winfield with the Angels. Looks funny seeing him with the Angels. Um, so used to seeing him with the Padres and Yankees. Look at all those baseballs, how big his hands are holding all those baseballs. Robin Yount, Hall of Famer, Bobby Witt, Steve Finley, Mike LaVayer, and Kelly Mann. Kelly Mann was a catching prospect for the Braves, but never quite panned out to what uh, you know, the hopes were for the organization. So he just never quite uh, fulfilled what people thought he was going to do. Maybe I should do it from this way. Aha, so that's the angle. i got to go for it upside down. That's what it is. On the seam and upside down. That's the trick, it seems. The puzzle piece. And we get Jack Morris. David Segee. Sweet Lou Whitaker. Bob Ebony Eyes Welch. Joe Girardi, the new coach. of the Or new manager, I should say, of the Philadelphia Phillies. Steve Bedrosian, Moises Alou, Paul Ferries, Chuck Finley, Rex Hudler, and there you go for that pack. So now that I know it's upside down and on the seam, let's see if I can get it done in one fell swoop this time. Not embarrassing myself. Yep, that's the way to do it. Got it licked. Have to be smarter than the packs you're working with. All right, Ellis Burks of the Red Sox. Rick Aguilera of the Twins. Looks kind of mean in that picture. Looks like one of those wrestlers or something in that picture. Jimmy Reese. How about that? Didn't know they would make a coach of that, but coach's card like that. Joe McGreen. Wade Boggs. Mr. Wade Boggs. Mike Boddicker, former Oriole. Alvin Davis. Brooke Jacoby, John Burkett, and Moises Alou, and we're back to the beginning. All right, so you can get a kind of a sense of how the cards are styled. And like I said, there's not, uh, I don't even know what the best 
valued card is in here. I don't even know how well the Hall of Famers do or the rookie, if there's any rookies in here, but just some players that I remember seeing in the 80s and 90s that bring back memories. Billy Hatcher from the World Champion Reds in 1990. Steve Lake with the little parrot on it. Kind of reminds me of Coco Beware, the wrestler that used to have uh, Frankie the parrot on his shoulder. John Olerud. Bob Ojeda. Mickey Morandini. Turner Ward. There's Nolan Ryan. I guess anything Nolan Ryan is pretty collectible. So, you know, Nolan Ryan is Nolan Ryan. He's kind of, people just follow him everywhere. Kurt Schilling. John Smiley. Jeff Treadway. And I think that, yep, we finished it up on that pack. Like I said, there's a lot of packs here. They said it was 48 packs, and they are pretty thin because you only get, like I said, uh, 10 cards. So I'm not sure why they didn't put more cards in there and making maybe make less packs. And I don't know, do I have these right upside down? Yeah, there we go. I'm trying to do it where I don't destroy the whole pack. Maybe that's a little bit, I'm trying to make it neater. I'm not just ripping the stuff to shreds. Um, let's see, we have Tino Martinez, Paul O'Neill, Rob Bombardier, Rob Double Dibble. Oops, dropped Rob Double Dibble, one of the nasty boys. Pedro Guerrero, very feared hitter in the 80s, the Dodgers. Brett Saberhagen. Harold Reynolds, Mr. MLB Network himself, Harold Reynolds. Frank Thomas, Mr. Nugenics himself. Kirby Union Gap Puckett. Lloyd Mosby. There is that pack. So, so far, got a nice little stack going. I'm just going to put these in one of these generic... 500 card box holder things. I mean, obviously, I don't think anything in there is sleeve worthy or uh, certainly not uh, top loader worthy. All right, we've got Roberto Kelly, Greg Hibbard, Paul Ferries again. We're starting to get some doubles. Oral Hershiser still kind of looks like Opie. Mike Benjamin, Old Can Boy with all look at the bling he's got. Roberto Alomar, Daryl Please Come to Boston, Steve Avery, Dan Mann from Gladden. There is that pack. All right, we're just strolling right along, having a relaxing Tuesday night as I'm recording this, posting it tomorrow, Wednesday. It's election day here in the state of Virginia, but I'm not going to worry about watching all that stuff. It's just, just all it does is irritate me. David Segui, Lou Whitaker. All right, we're definitely getting some doubles. Bob Eyes, Welch, Joe Girardi again. Fred McGriff, Crime Dog. People think well, he's balancing a bat there. People think he's the next one in line maybe to get the Hall of Fame. Hal Morris on that championship 90 Reds team. Mickey Morandini again. Turner Ward. Milt Thompson of the Cardinals. Dave Smith. I did not realize he pitched for the Cubs. I know he pitched for the Astros for years. Didn't realize he went to the Cubs. But obviously he did. Yeah, just the whole politics, all those commercials. I'm just glad the commercials are over. I'm almost at the point where I don't care who wins. I'm just glad the commercials are over. Because they get to be very annoying. And repetitive. All right, there's Barry Bonds with hair and a smaller head. Nick Kosaski, Moises Alou again, Paul Ferries, that's like the third Paul Ferries I can recall. Mookie Wilson, Doug Jones, I always thought he was a great relief pitcher. Um, consistently get 30 to 35 saves a year. Slow, slow uh, breaking ball, change up, but very effective. Kevin Moss, he was went on the scene with the Yankees, um, hit you know a bunch of home runs in the first couple of months of his career, and then just kind of flamed out after that. Tony Pena, the Red Sox. Mark, oh, there you go. This is for ID. Mark Gubaza for ID Jester. 
ID Jester's favorite player, Mark Gubaza. Got a little long, needs a trim back here, I think. Maybe needs to visit Brutus the Barber Beefcake with WWE, but he does have a long mane there. A lot of locks for Mark Gubaza. I'm going to hold the Gubaza to the side, see if I draw another one. Edgar Martinez, recent Hall of Famer. And we go to the next pack. Make sure I got it upside down where I need to have it. Looks like if I do it that way upside down, you can see there's a little gap there, and that's that's where I should be pulling to begin with. That's the mistake I was making earlier. Now I know. All right, we got Eddie E. Drink and B. Murray. It seems funny seeing him on a Dodger uniform with such a long time Oriole. Will Clark again. Yvonne, Cal Yvonne Calderon. Sparky Anderson. This is an interesting card that they would make. Card number 261. It's like a checklist, I guess. Can't get this thing to focus just right. Come on now. Focus for me. I guess it, I have to go way back here to get to focus, apparently. Winning manager 1975, 76, and 84 World Series. Kind of neat little checklist that they do it that way. Something other than just plain old checklist type stuff. Here's Paul Molitor, another Hall of Famer. John Franco, Nick Kisaski again, Lenny Dykstra, Nails, Sean Bosky, the Cubs, Jay Bell, one of the best, he and Brett Butler, probably two of the best bunters of modern time, and there's Eddie Murray, and we've gone full circle. I'm going to keep that Sparky Anderson card out, because I kind of like that, it's just a unique checklist kind of thing. I just want to keep that to the side for myself. All right, next pack. Next pack, it is Roger Clemens. There he is. Someday we'll be in the Hall of Fame, I'm sure. I'm sure all those steroid guys will eventually get voted in. And he'll lead the way along with Barry Bonds. Warren Cromarty. Eric Hansen, Charlie Huff, Mr. Knuckleball, Dan Mann from Gladden again. Now we're upside down. Flip it over with John Franco. And a couple of them are sticking together. Isaski, Dykstra had the same run before. Bosky and Jay Bell. So a lot of those are the same. Like I said, you're going to get that because there's... I believe they said it was only 260 cards in the set. Let me read this again just to make sure that's what it said. Yeah, 260 in the set, and out of this box you're going to get 480. So, <laughs> almost enough to make two full sets. So, to be expected, you're going to have many, many duplicates and probably some triplicates. And definitely be able to make the puzzle. Alright, Pedro Guerrero. Jeff Bagwell, another Hall of Famer. He looks a lot thinner than he did later in his career. You kind of wonder if he did any kind of stuff. Carlton Fisk. Jose Canseco. Sandy Alomar. Scott Kareltz. Delino DeShields. Ken Daly. And the Doctor, Dwight Gooden. Along with Ron Gant. So there was a couple of new ones there. Like I said, it's purely for entertainment purposes. It's uh, I don't think there's anything worth any card in here worth over about a quarter. You know, I could be wrong. I haven't priced anything. I don't know, but just my guess that that's the case. But it's fun nonetheless. Oh, we got two puzzle pieces in there. That one's weird. That one had two puzzle pieces stuck in there. All right, Larry Anderson, Steve Bedrosian. Leo Gomez, Candy Maldonado, Carlton Fisk, the Trojan again. Did he get in there twice? He sure did. Same pack. He was in there twice. It was not my sleight of hand. Leo Gomez, Cecil Fielder, first man to hit 50 home runs in the 90s, or right after George Foster did it in 77. Nobody did it in the 80s. 1990, Cecil Fielder did it. Dave Henderson. And Larry Anderson. 
so again it's just fun going back and looking at some of these old names and I'm not worried about you know the corners or if the corners are tight or what it if it's well centered it's just all this stuff just doesn't care because it's just reminiscing for fun so that's part of the enjoyment I think Kurt Schilling John Smiley, Jeff Treadway. Obviously, I think we're getting into all repeats here. Tim Wallach. Here's some new ones. Tim Wallach. Ed Whitson. Ed, I can't pitch in New York Whitson. I can pitch in San Diego, but I can't pitch for the Yankees Whitson. Wally Zorbean Joyner. Gary Sheffield. Jeff Kunkel. Eric King. Don Mattingly. Now, that's... I'm not used to seeing Don Madeline without a mustache. This is very, very strange. Um, I think I don't think he has one now when he's managing, but when he was playing, he seemed, I thought he always had a mustache, but maybe I'm wrong. Just almost didn't look like... If, if I just saw this and didn't see the name and didn't see the Yankee hat, I, I might not recognize that was Don Madeline. But hey, it was Don Madeline. How about that? So... We'll keep the ball rolling here. I may do this as a premiere just so people can chat because it might be kind of boring to watch this. Watch me open these just by myself with no interaction. Andres Galarraga, Fred McGriff. Alex Fernandez, he was a nice young pitcher for the Sox back in the early 90s. Now got upside down again. Now flip him over again. Rick Aguilera, him in that kind of mean picture again. Chuck Finley, Bill Gullickson, that's a new one. Rick Honeycutt, definitely a new one. Pitching coach for the Dodgers now. George Taco Bell, Daryl Please Come to Boston, and Dave Anderson. So I may just, actually what I may do, if I don't do it as a premiere, I may cut this off after so many packs just because... Might get bored watching it. I don't know. Maybe, you know, sometimes I'll enjoy watching people open up cards just for the heck of it. And it doesn't matter if they're valuable or not. It's just fun to, to do and maybe have something going on in the background while I'm working. So maybe this serves that purpose as well. Mike Lavalier, Kelly Mann, Andres Galarraga, Fred McGriff, Hal Morris, Frank Thomas, Kirby Puckett. Yeah, these are all repetition here milk thompson and dave smith like i said you're going to get that because there's so many packs in here um just no way to avoid it when you're dealing with 460 cards and there's only 200 200 and uh what's 480 cards and you've got 260 in the whole set you know you do the math all right here is ricky jordan I think that's a new one. Sean Dunstan. Okay, so we've got some different ones in this pack. Doug Drabeck. Look at that hair on him. Who we have here? We have Mariano Duncan. Dave Henderson. Glenn Allen Hill. There is a Ken Griffey Jr. I think the first one I've seen of him. Obviously not a rookie card, but anything Ken Griffey, much like anything that's Nolan Ryan, is fairly popular. Um, just give some personal details here. Uh, born November 21st, 1969, Denora, Pennsylvania. L likes listening to rap music. Favorite TV show is In Living Color. Follows Ohio State, where his brother played football. I did not know that. His brother played football for Ohio State. Rob Deere. Kevin Belcher. Mike Boddicker, Ricky Jordan again, Sean Dunstan, Doug Drabeck, Mariano Duncan. Now these are all ones I've already gone through in the pack. Or did I go all the way through? Yeah, I think I did. Okay. All right. Now what I have planned, I've already purchased it. I'm just waiting for it to arrive in the mail is the 1986 Topps Wax Box. And 
once, if and when I hit 1,000 subscribers, I am going to chew a piece of the gum that comes out of there on camera so that you can see it. That will be my celebration for the 1,000 subscriber. Tom Candiotti, already gripping the ball like a knuckleball. He was in the movie 61, Billy Crystal movie about Roger Maris and Mickey Mantle. He played uh, Hoyt Wilhelm in that game for the Orioles. Vince Coleman, Sid Bream, very 80s to 90s looking hair there. Kind of looks like John Travolta a little bit without the mustache. Like he's going to go disco dancing or something. Darren Dalton, George Bell, Tim Leary, he looks Leary in that picture. Charlie Huff again. Ricky Henderson, Ray Lankford, and Ken Caminiti before the roids got to him and caused his premature death. Maybe he's like the Lyle Alzado of the of Major League Baseball. I don't know. Now that one I ripped the pack up in half and didn't mean to do that, but it just happens. All right, we've got Tom Candiotti again. Must be the same pack. Coleman and Bream and Dalton. Looks like they're all in the same order. Bell, Leary. Oh, we got an Avery. That's a little bit different. Brian Barnes. That's what that one's new. Langford and Caminiti again. Is that two Caminitis in the same pack, or am I just imagining things? I guess I'm imagining things. I thought there were. There was not. Seems like it though. When there's all these are coming up to be. Repetitious, it kind of seems that way. All right, and I'm sure the guy at the card shop probably was glad to get rid of this for five dollars, but because there's no value in him holding on to it. But you know, for me, I just, it's it's a fun exercise. Ricky Jordan, Shawan Dunstan, or Sean Dunstan, Doug Drabeck, Mariano Duncan. I think I've hit all the players in the set. Should look at the checklist, huh? Oh, well, I'll check it out again later. Well, down hill, another Ken Griffey. He's not really looking too happy in that picture, though. Deer, Belcher, and Boddicker. So, we're starting to get a lot of uh, repetition. Repetition in this, and there's still quite a few packs to go. Um, not sure how much. I should actually show one here because I don't know how <laughs> attentive people are going to be. It's starting to get to be like watching reruns on TV. And I'm sure I'm not that entertaining. Just sitting there talking to myself. So we'll see. Ricky Henderson. Ricky Jordan. Kelly Gruber. That's a new one. Sandy Alomar. Harold Reynolds again. Frank Thomas. Kirby Puckett. Bill Plantier, that's another new one. Brian McRae, son of Hal McRae. And Tino Martinez. So we've got a couple of new ones sprinkled in. I don't know if this checklist only goes through 1 through 88, so it doesn't tell me who the other cards are. And I don't, these are order, uh, numbered, but I don't have them in any kind of numbered order. Uh, maybe when I get all these opened up, I'll uh, actually put them in a set, numbered set, so I know I have all of them and then see who all the duplicates are. I do like the, the wrappers, though. The wrappers are pretty slick with the black and the, and the gold. That's pretty tight looking. Let's see here. Sammy Sosa, Shane Mack. That's a new one. Oh, another checklist with Tony La Russa on it. All right, so they're obviously prominent managers are showing up as we have Sandy, I mean Sparky Anderson, 1 through 88. And on La Russa, it's 177 through the 263, to, through the end, basically. So there should be a couple more checklists in here. At least one more checklist that would cover it all. So we'll see. Mike Sosha, that's a new one. Mike Sosha, longtime manager of the Angels. Rex Hudler, seen that one. Oops, got stuck together here on me, I think. Roger Clemens again. Warren Cromarty, that's a new one. 
I didn't know he was still playing in 1990. That's wild. I gotta read up on that. I thought he had long since retired. Uh, signed with the Royals as a free agent prior to the 91 season. Oh, he played in Japan from 84 to 90. That's why I didn't see him, because he was in Japan from 84 to 90. I guess he tried to make a comeback in 91 with the Royals. I doubt it did much. Eric Hansen. Charlie Huff. And Dan Mann from Gladden. All right. Maybe I should have done the Friends of the Community thing on this one as well. <laughs> and assign certain packs to certain people. Oh well. they probably reject them if they did because like I said, it's, I don't think the Leaf Company, uh, Dunruss Leaf Company, I don't think the studio thing caught on very well because I don't think they did it very many years. Frank Viola, Black and Decker. Now that's interesting. That's something I, Ron, Uncle Ron appreciate that with the puns. Black and Decker. So when Bud Black pitches to Steve Decker, it's Black and Decker. Oops. Black and Decker. Black and Decker. Hoping the battery of Bud Black and Steve Decker would power them into contention in the NL West race in 91. Black was signed as a free agent. Decker became the Giants' regular catcher as a rookie, jumping to the major leagues from AA Shreveport, where he made the Texas, Texas League All-Star team in 1990. It wasn't the first offbeat pairing for Black, who was a teammate in Kansas City with Vita Blue, leaving opponents Black and Blue. All right, they're getting the puns in. I like that. Jack McDowell. Brian Harper. White Evans. Seems funny seeing him in an Oriole uniform after all those years with the Red Sox. Rob Deere. Eckersley. Burt B. Home. Bly Levin. That's a new one. Paul Mahler. And Brooke Jacoby. That's interesting about Bud Black. Being with Decker and with Blue. I'm sure if they thought about it long enough, they'd come up with something else, but I don't think he was ever teammates. Well, in Kansas City, was he a teammate of Roy White? I mean, uh, Frank White? Could have had Black and White. Let's see here. Mark McGuire. I think that's a new one. Obviously, look how skinny Mark McGuire looks in that picture. Well, he's just out of college. Mark Langston. Franklin Stubbs. Franklin Ticket Stubbs. I know him because he went to Virginia Tech. Uh, let's see here. Interest. Listening to soul music. Watches the Cosby Show. Follows the Lakers in North Carolina. Hmm. He was born in North Carolina. Now resides in Chino Hills, California. Hmm. Interesting. Raphael Palmero, Mark Lewis, so some new ones coming. Dale Murphy, look at that. With the, if anything looks weird, it's Dale Murphy with the Phillies because the longtime Atlanta Brave, but he did end his career with the Phillies. Mookie Wilson, Doug Jones, Kevin Moss, Kevin No Moss, and Tony Pena. Alright, here we go. Next pack. And again, the wrappers are piling up. Cards are piling up. The duplicates are piling up. Dave Magadan. Dave Rigetti. I think that's the first one of Rigetti we've gotten. Kind of looks like Glenn Fry a little bit. I don't know. It's just maybe just me. Bobby Thigpen. He's a new one. Jack Morris. David Sagi, Lou Whitaker, Bob Welch, Joe Girardi, Greg Jeffries. Boy, you're talking about a, somebody that came on the scene as a hot prospect and flamed out. That's him right there. And me and Willie McGee. Move on to the next pack. I've lost count how many packs this is. Not that it matters. Sure, I've got enough puzzle pieces to make two puzzles. So let's see here. Tim Wallach, Tim Eli Wallach, Ed Whitson, Wally Joyner, Gary Sheffield, Jeff Kunkel blowing a bubble. Not as good as Kurt Bravacqua. Eric King, BJ Surhoff, Dave Magadan, David
Dave Rigetti, and Bobby Thickpin. Alright, so so far you can see the stack of cards I've opened here, <laughs> how big that stack is getting. As we mosey on down the line. There's a good picture of the facial feature of the Rod Crew puzzle. All right, Tom Browning, that's a new one. Tom Browning, fishing and golf. Hmm, how about that? Rick Honeycutt, Chris James, that's a new one. Eric Hansen, Travis Fryman, Joe Carter. Mitch Williams' favorite baseball player. Julio Franco, Jeff Conine the Barbarian, Leo Gomez, and Candy Maldonado. All right, so let's see exactly how many packs are left. Four there. Four there. So that's eight. Maybe four here on all these. Let's see. Nope, we'll take four there. Two, three, four. So there's 20 packs left. There's 16 there, four sets of four, plus these four here. So 20 packs are left out of the 48. A little over halfway. Ken Griffey Sr., how about that? So we got Sr. and Jr. in the same set. Interesting. Remember, in, I think it was either, I think it was 1989 that they hit home runs back-to-back -back in a game against the Angels. Don't know the date, but I think it was 1989 they went back-to-back. -back. Cecil Fielder, maybe it says it on here somewhere. Uh, no, it doesn't say it really. Scott Champarino, never heard of him. George Brett, I think it's the first one of George Brett I've seen. Dwight Evans. Tim McIntosh, he's new. Wade Boggs. Bill Landrum. Bill won if by Landrum. That looks kind of Bella Lagosius. Bella Lagosi is like he's in a horror movie or something. Glenn Davis. It was a horror for the Orioles to trade for him, that's for sure. And Gary Gaetti. So some new players there, some new ones I ha we haven't seen yet. Next pack, Roberto Kelly, Mike Greenwell. So we are getting some new ones here. Storm Davis, Brian Holman, Ken Daly, Eddie Murray, Joe McGrain, Boggs again, Boddicker, and Alvin Davis. Almost reminds me of that commercial. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop? It's like, how many packs do we have to open to be done with this? All right, Terry Pendleton. Marquise Grissom. Kurt Stillwell. Dave Death Valley. Billy Hatcher, Steve Lake with his parrot again, John Olerud, Bob Ojeda, Lee Smith, first one I've seen of Lee Smith, and Ryan Sandberg, I think it was the first one I've seen of him too, so those are two new cards that hadn't been in the previous packs, thus the reason to continue, because you never know who you're going to pick out that you haven't seen yet. All right, Scott Erickson. Bert Blylevin, Steve Bridge Too Far, Barry, another Barry Bonds again, Eric Davis, Bernard Gilkey, Eric Anthony, Brian Holman, Bill Gullickson, and Juan Gonzalez. I think it's the first Juan Gonzalez we've seen. Interesting, he's taking a picture with a glove instead of a bat, because he certainly was not known for his glove. All right, so 16 packs to go. Four in each little quadrant, so we'll try to get through this within the next five or ten minutes so that uh, 
this thing doesn't go on too long. Still trying to decide whether I'm just going to make this a regular video or a premiere so people can chat. Just so you have more interest in watching it <laughs> uh, if you're chatting. Tom Browning, Rick Honeycutt. But then again, there's only a few people that watch it live. So most people are watching this thing taped. So making it a premiere probably doesn't make any difference. Daryl Boston, Dave Anderson, Jeff Bagwell, Julio Franco, Jeff Conine, Leo Gomez, and Candy Maldonado. Jeff Bagwell. Jack Clark. I think it's the first Jack Clark we've seen. I don't remember Jack Clark with Boston. I'm, I'm, I, now that I think about it, I guess he did play for him, but I'm used to seeing him with either the Cardinals, the Giants, or the Yankees, or the Padres. Forgot he had played for the Red Sox. Bagwell. Speaking of Red Sox, the Red Sox prospect when he came up. Jeff Conine. Ken Griffey Sr. Andy Van Slyke. Ben McDonald. That's the first Ben McDonald I think I've seen. Dave Magadin. Rick Getty. Bobby Thickpin and Jack Morris. Cards are obviously in good shape, but they're just not really don't have any very little, if any, monetary value to them. More sentimental value, but honestly, I prefer the regular baseball cards, um, particularly the ones that where they're actually, you know, in a game doing something. There's, there it is, Mark, another Mark Gubaza, just, or Gubaza, just for ID. Put him over there. Two Gubazas. There is Martinez, Sosa, Mike Scott. First Mike Scott card we've seen. He was a dominant pitcher of the 80s, late 80s. Not so much into the 90s, but boy, about 80, I'd say 85 or 86 to 89. He was, those three or four years, he was tough. Sosa. Van Slyke, McDonald again, Dave Winfield, Robin Yount, Bobby Witt, Steve Finley. So we're get, working our way down. Getting through this. And maybe before the next video, whatever game I decide to play on the next video. I'll show the completed puzzle of Rod Carew so you can see what that looks like. Lance Dixon, that's a new one I think. Dwight Gooden. Will Clark. Jim Two Silhouettes on Deshays. Bill Landrum. Eric King. Another Don Mattingly. Dave Magadan. Rick Getty. And thick pen. I think I got a bunch of Brigettis and thick pens. I seem to remember them coming up quite a bit. So we continue. All right, got Glenn Davis. Another checklist with Tommy Lasorda, number 89 through 176. So with Sparky, we've got 1 through 88. With Lasorda, we've got 89 through 176. And with LaRusso, we got 177 till the end. So those are the three managers they selected to be on the checklist. And both of these managers, well, only one. He has three World Series titles. He has two. And LaRusso now has two. He only had one at the time. But, of course, 2000 and six Cardinals. He also won a world championship so as manager. So those are your three checklists with those three managers on it. Ron Robinson, that's a new picture. Don't remember that one. Mike Greenwell, Greg Gagney with a spoon, Chuck Finley, Dave Stewart, that's a new one. Dave Stewart. Kirk McCaskill, that's a different one. BJ Surhoff. And Jose Lean, another new one. So some new ones there toward the bottom here. So definitely some new faces that I had not come across. As we whittle our way down. 
could probably make two puzzles out of all this. There's the Black and Decker again. Jack McDowell. Brian Harper. Randy Milligan. That's a new one. Randy Milligan. Frank Tanana. Dave Stewart again. Kirk McCaskill. Chris Sabo without the goggles. I'm not used to seeing him without goggles. That's a new one of Chris Sabo. No goggles for Chris Sabo in this picture. And it says here, born 1962 in Detroit. Golf hockey reading books. Likes big hand and rock music. Watches Sports Center, collects books. Is a fan of the Red Wings and the University of Michigan. Obviously, born in Detroit, you can see why. Also, his favorite players are Kaline, Cash, and Horton. So that makes perfect sense. Chris Sabo. Greg Swindell. And Scott Sanderson, who unfortunately passed away this year. Next pack. We're probably to the point now where we're not going to see any more new cards that we haven't seen yet. I think you've probably looked at all 260 by now. And as soon as I say that, Paul O'Neill shows up. That's a new Paul O'Neill. Don't remember that one. Old school red uniform for Paul O'Neill in this one. Terry Mulholland, that's a new one. Devon White, don't remember that one. Daryl Strawberry, it's a brand new pack here. Randy Milligan, we've had that one. Frank Tanana Dacry. Dave Stewart. Kurt McCaskill. BJ Surhoff. And Greg Swindell. Can we get another Gubaza for ID Jester? That's the, maybe the lone suspense in the rest of the video. Ken Griffey Sr. Cecil Fielder. Would have been interesting if they had put Griffey Sr. and Jr. back to back in the pack. That would have been interesting. Chimperino, George Brett. And they're kind of sticking just a hair. Dwight Evans. Tim McIntosh. Wade Boggs. Bill Landrum. Chris Hammond. Gary Gaetti. These cards are in really good shape. I could probably send some of these off and get PSA 10s. But it would cost more to have them graded than what they're worth. So obviously that wouldn't be wise to do. But they are in really good shape. I will say that. Fresh out of the pack. No gum smell though. It's the only I wish they had some gum in them, but that's all right. Move on. Kurt Stillwell, Dave Valley, Billy Hatcher, Lake again with his parrot, Ola Rude, Ojeda, Lee Smith, Ryan Sandberg, and Nolan Ryan. How about that back to back? Three Hall of Famers right back to back. Lee Smith, Ryan Sandberg, and Nolan Ryan. How about that? Let's see what they say about Nolan Ryan. Born in 1947 in Refugio, Texas. Now lives in Alvin, Texas. Fishing and sports activities with his children, likes country music, follows the Oilers and the Astros. His hero was Sandy Koufax. Interesting. Interesting there. Never got to pitch against Sandy Koufax, but I'm sure he watched him as a child. We're whittling our way down as we're at the 48 minute mark. Let's see what else we have here. We have Glenn Davis. Another checklist was a sort of, so that's the first duplicate checklist we've had. Robinson, Greenwell, whoops, dropped him. Greenwell, Gagney, Chuck Finley. Hudler, and we're all getting definitely getting into the duplicates and triplicates now. Andy Bennis, that's a new one. Andy Bennis for the Padres. It's a brand new one. And so is Gary Carter. That's a nice picture of Gary Carter with the old mitt there, old fashioned mitt with the ball in the middle. Gary Carter, first one of him. Gary the Kid Carter. Long time expo and met. A well, long time expo, short time met, I guess. Jack Morris, Sagi, Lou Whitaker, Welch, Girardi, Jeffries, Willie McGee, Pete Harnish, 
Plantier and Brian McRae. So you can see the it's almost like a Jenga thing here. It's going to fall over at any moment, I'm sure. Maybe that would be the highlight of the whole video if that fell over on everything. All right, Milk Kyler, Jose Canseco, Jim Abbott, Candy Maldonado, Scott Chimperino, Glenn Allen Hill, Steve Howe. Didn't realize he was still around at that point in time. He had all those drug problems. Uh, let's see here. First round pick of the Dodgers in 79. Made it back to the majors with the Yankees in 91 after a three year absence. How about that? Ron Gant. Von Calderon. Tony Fernandez. Might be the first Tony Fernandez I've seen. Very well could be. Tyler and Canseco. Okay, so that's the end of that pack. We're whittling our way down. We're down to the final four. Final four packs. And most people are probably saying hallelujah at this point. Final four packs. I'm going to get this done in under an hour. Because it is a lot of packs to open. Warren Cromarty, Chris Hoyles, Wes Chamberlain. That's a new one, Wes Chamberlain. The Phillies, Andre Dawson. Don't remember seeing that one before. Jack Clark, the Drosian, Abbott, Jesse Barfield, Alex Fernandez, and Tony Gwynn. I think it's the first Tony Gwynn I've seen. There he is. Tony Gwynn took the... 44th pack to get him, so I'm going to be very upset if I got all these 480 cards and don't get the all 260 of the cards to make a complete set. That would that would be a bummer, wouldn't it? If you have this many cards and you couldn't get a complete set. So let's see what we get here. You almost should have it if you buy a box of these things, you're guaranteed a complete set. Let's see, Ellis Burks, Rick Aguilera, Jimmy Reese again, Joe McGrain, Jim Deshays, another Tony Fernandez, Ramon Martinez, that's a new one, Ramon Martinez, Brooke Jacoby, John Burkett, I think that's a new one, Moises Alou. So, two packs remaining, two packs, 46 down and two to go. Here we go. Wrappers over here off camera are a mess. Pete Harnish. Phil Plantier. Brian McRae. Tino Martinez. Paul O'Neill. Terry Mulholland. Devon White. Daryl Strawberry. Might be the first Strawberry. I don't remember seeing the Strawberry before. That might be a new one. Todd Zeal. I know that's a new one. Todd Zeal. don't remember that one. Todd Zeal. And Tim Naring, I believe that's new as well. So, getting some new ones here down to the last pack. So, never know what new person might pop up. Last pack. Last pack. Like I said, the next unboxing I do will be a wax box of 1986 tops. And I will eat the gum, assuming I'm up to a thousand subscribers by then. Roberto Kelly. In fact, I won't even do that on video until I am up to a thousand subscribers. Hibbard, Ferries, Hershiser, Mike Benjamin, Ken Boyd, Roberto Alomar, Daryl Boston, Steve Avery, and the very last one is Dan Gladden. So boy, look at that those stack of cards. And if we get the puzzle pieces all together, boy, I've got a, my work cut out for me there to sort these. And try to put together at least one puzzle, maybe two, depending on how many pieces I have. Stack all this stuff up. Next video, by the way, it's probably going to be... on Manic Monday, and I don't know what that's going to bring. Uh, I might do one before then, depends on how much time I have and what's going on. 
if I feel the need to do a video or want to do a video, I'll do one before that. Um, but it'll probably be something along the lines of um, either another Mark Fidrich game or the rebirth of the 1977 White Sox replay. So there are all the stacks of the puzzle pieces. And we've got our two prize Mark Gubazas right there. And then the four check, well there's only three checklists because one's a repeat. So those are the three checklists that are involved. But uh, like I said, nothing great out of this particular set. It's just something different. It's not necessarily my bag of tea or cup of tea, but uh, some people do like these. Push this down just a hair so you can actually see what's down here. There you go. See that big stack right there. So I appreciate you all hanging around and watching this. And uh, like I said, I'm just in the infant stages of doing the card breaks so gotta start cheap <laughs> so it fits my budget and uh, you know in the future I do have some of the newer stuff I've got a box or a, I don't know what they call it a hobby box or something like that it's not a black it might be a blaster I'm not sure what it is to be honest with you of the uh, 2019 series 2 tops and updated tops so that is something I might eventually break as well. But going with the theme of cheap wax, I mean, this is not wax, these are cheap, cheap of this material. Um, trying to think if there's anything else on the pack that uh, is significant. Nothing I can see. Like I said, I do like the, I do think it's a pretty neat little package there with the studio logo and the picture there and the black and the gold kind of gives it like a you know black tie affair kind of thing but that's uh, pretty much it for studio let's move this down a little bit so you can see the top of the box raise that up to see the top of the box there studio puzzle pieces so now just a matter of getting all these cards back into here to store them and I'll store these two on top Mark Gubaza and in fact for ID I'll Look at the back real quick and see what Mark Gubaza has to say. It's born August 14th, 1962, so maybe we'll make that Mark Gubaza day for ID every August 14th. Uh, let's see, he was born in Philadelphia. Second round pick of the Royals in the 81 draft. He likes golf, rock music, watches Cheers and The Simpsons, collects sports memorabilia and signed baseball cards. He's a fan of the Flyers, 76ers, Eagles, and all Notre Dame sports. How about that? So there you go, Mark Gubaza. Mark Gubaza, a.k.a. Mark Gubaza. So that's going to do it from here. Till next time, hope you enjoy collecting whatever kind of cards you like to collect and playing whatever kind of board games you like to play or computer games you like to play the way you like to play them. And I will see you all down the road.